Good morning my dear students. Welcome back to online English grammar class. Students, today we are going to continue with the same chapter of English grammar, pronouns. Last time we discussed what are pronouns and personal pronouns. It's first time. Today we are going to discuss its rest of its types. So students, listen to me with concentration and care. There are four types of pronouns. personal reflexive interrogative and demonstrative we'll discuss its second type demonstrative pronouns let's define demonstrative pronouns are used to show or identify one or a number of nouns that may be far or near in distance or time they are only four in number they may be singular or plural near or far for singular we use this and that For near we use this, for far we use that, for plural we use these and those. Now for a few examples, we'll discuss it with the help of examples. This is an apple. This singular. That is an apple. It is also singular. And this is near and that is far. These are apples, plural. Those are apples, plural. These are um, near and those are far. Now we come to second example. This is my book, singular, near one. That is my book, singular, far one. These are my books, plural, near. Those are my books, plural, far one. Now students, have you understood? Yes. Come to third type of example. This is my pencil, singular, near one. That is my pencil. singular far one these are my pencils plural near one those are my pencils plural far one so students take care you understand fourth example this is a ball singular near one that is a ball singular far one these are balls plural near one those are balls plural far one So students have you understood something we come to last part of the example this is a car singular near one that is a car singular far one these are cars plural near one those are cars plural far one so students i hope you must have understood demonstrative pronouns come to activity time let's start Fill up the blanks and take care. You understand them. We begin. Complete the sentences below with the correct with the correct demonstrative pronoun. First one. Dash is a pen. What will come here? Fill in the blank, children. What will come here? Tell me this. This is a pen. Second one. Dash are erasers. Fill in the blank. Tell me the correct answer. Yes. It is. These are erasers. Third one. Da- dash is my sister. Fill in the blank here. Who will tell me? Yes, you. This is my sister. Fourth. Dash are my shoes. What will come here? Fill in the blank with correct demonstrative pronouns. Yes. What will come here? These are my shoes. Fifth one. Dash are my books. Tell me. Far one. It is very far off. Yes. Those are my books. शुरू के फोर नियर वंस थे बाद के फार वन दिस इज माय डैश इज माय टीचर व्हाट विल कम इन दैट फार वाला दैट इज माय टीचर सेवन डैश आर फ्लावर्स व्हाट विल कम हियर दो दोस आर फ्लावर्स एट फार वन दैट इज डैश इज माय कैट सिंगुलर बट फार व्हाट विल कम हियर दैट दैट इज माय Dash are apples. Yes, we did it previously also. Far wala, but plural. What will come here? Yes, those are apples. So this topic is over. We come to reflexive pronouns. Third type of pronouns, reflexive pronouns. Let's begin. Read these sentences. These are few examples of reflexive pronouns. He hurt himself while playing. They enjoyed themselves at the beach. Now, we see. he for he we use himself for they for they we always use themselves 
In the subject is he we use himself and the subject is they we use themselves let's see a reflexive pronoun refers back to its subject they are there are eight reflexive pronouns i you he she it they we you all for i we use reflexive pronoun is myself for you yourself for he himself for she herself for it itself they themselves use each reflexive pronouns in complete the sentence first one is done for you mother cut herself with chopping vegetables try it we use ourselves at the concert now we come to last part and what is an interrogative pronoun it is the last part of your pronoun interrogative pronoun an interrogative pronoun is used in asking a question Whenever we ask a question, we use interrogative pronouns. There are five interrogative pronouns: who, whom, whose, which, what. So there are five in them. Who is used when we are asking questions about the subject of the sentence? Now we come to examples. We'll discuss few of its examples. Who said that? First example. Who is going to clean the table? come to example part whose cat is this whose phone is that whose plant was the tallest so we have done examples now which is used when asking questions where we have limited choices examples which one is your favorite which is which is your car the red or black Which of those two do you prefer to buy? Now we come to what. What is used when asking for general information? Simply general information. We come to example part now. Let's see. What is your name? What is your lesson today? What did you learn today? There are five interrogative pronouns now. Last part of your uh, subject. Who? Who? which and for so students i hope you must have understood the chapter concentrate on 